Hi, my name's Jamal Burkmar, and uh, with a group of dancers, I work under the title Extended Play Dance. Um, I call it Extended Play Dance because of the pretty strict and strong relationship to music uh, that we have. And for this work, I'm working with a, a trio of dancers. So the piece is called Voyager 3 and it's inspired by the Voyager space missions. Um, we found out that when they sent these spaceships off uh, into the far reaches of the galaxy, they put records on them that had music, and we found it really funny that some of the songs they couldn't get licensing for, so the Beatles had to turn them down to send the music into space. So we imagined um, a different mission that leaves in the future called Voyager 3, uh, where I got to pick the music that was sent off to the aliens. And so uh, this piece is about those aliens first discovering my Spotify playlists and um, uh, the way in which it affects their natural relationship to movement. So uh, I wanted to make this because I, I like reimagining the world with music that I love at the center of it. And so, yeah, going to a distant planet where they've never heard any music and giving them mine seemed like the most interesting and exciting version of dance for me. <laughs> so I think that it's quite rare, in fact, no, it's very rare, to sort of walk in a studio and not have um, all of the weight of like the original idea piling on top of you. And it's nice to go into a place and think, okay, this is the starting point, but we can kind of flesh out from where, where we're going. And um, my, my process is like really strict with music. I play one second of music at, at a time and that one second repeats for almost like 60 seconds or two minutes almost. And we just wait until we've found like a really strict thing. And because I've been doing that pretty successfully for the last couple of years, it's what people really want. And so this was like the first time for a while that I've got to actually like pull that method apart. So we've been, we've been creating in much sort of longer batches, which is quite nice. We've still been using that technique to form parts of the choreography, but we've also just been playing with our like relationship to music in a way that I just haven't ha quite had the access to for the last couple of years. So yeah, I feel like I, liked, I like working in cycles. I think I've done like a couple of years of this one really intense technique. And I think this might be a nice little window into another couple of year cycle of um, just stretching the bounds of how we're responding to sound and the ways in which we're responding to sound.